All right, guys, so the time has finally come. I'm going to be pulling for VV, definitely guaranteed. And depending on my luck, my order of getting things is going to be VV, VV's card, the other card, and then Zidane is the last priority. I do have a ticket for Zidane, the paid ticket, so it won't cost me any more to do that ticket, so I'll definitely do that. And yeah, that's it. So I don't. Even if I get VV now, I'm going to try to get his card, and I don't think I'm going to be able to pull it on this video, but I'm going to keep trying to pull it as the event keeps going because we still have almost 40 days left on that, so I think that should be fine. And so my order is going to be th the ticket first, and then I'm going to go for the paid pull. So I'm going to do one step here and then the free step, and then I'm going to go to the four step banner. And then after that's two times and after that I'm gonna go back to the normal banner so this is potentially an option too you do have a slightly better chance of getting the card and VV and this also has the other card as well however it's 2,000 paid which is it's not terrible but it's only five UR guaranteed and the UR doesn't really give any better of a chance than the other banner you still have about a four percent chance but the cards have about a five percent chance and the fact that they're all together on the banner and you get free mind spheres that's what's attractive about it the five urs is just whatever because that doesn't really guarantee you anything in terms of final fantasy 9 okay so with all that said let's start over here on the tickets i honestly am not feeling super lucky i mean i did pretty badly on Squall, but I did pretty good on Summer Glacella, so I forgot to turn off skip animation. Okay, so that was a dud. Okay, and we have the 5% banner, so I'm probably not going to get any contribution to that unless I pull directly on that banner. Okay, so I just want to make sure I'm in the right place. I'm doing this one paid pull, and that's mostly because I have a decent amount of paid viz so i think this one is pretty you know it's still a, a gamble but half price gamble i'll definitely take that you are guaranteed so this doesn't necessarily mean anything i think it was a two percent chance so i think that's the appealing part about it okay three urs i don't think that was guaranteed three urs so we have three chances here I'm nervous. I'm like so nervous. Are you kidding me? <laughs> His head doesn't even go up all the way. Dude, that was so lucky. Now I feel so much better about the card. Okay. So I didn't end up getting any shards, but <laughs> I mean, that's going to save me a bunch of shards. Being able to pull them right away. Let's see what we get here. <laughs> a Victoria, dude wow I'm just like so relieved at this point I'm not even like happy or anything I'm just relieved just because there's so much to get in this banner wow okay let me screenshot that so I can brag to the guildmates okay actually mm, ends in one hour I might let me think about that after doing this pull session because it, I do now need shards. All right, screenshot to brag and then a free summon. Okay. Whew. I'm just relieved, man. Um, but like I said, I'm not gonna go for Zidane until after I prioritize everything else. So I'm prioritizing finishing at least the VV card. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the other card. To me, this is just a sort of just a trial with these new hollow cards and just to see how it goes with them. So this was I, I thought this was going to be a possibility for me, but I think I'm going to go straight with the free viz. I'm going to go one time on this. There's only one time allowed, but at least that gives you shards. So let's see how we do on this. Okay. And so I think the good part, so, okay, the Hollow Vision cards are ridiculously expensive, but I was kind of just taking a look at it. And so the good part is that you're going to have, I think, four total party abilities, one of those four being 
the i think it's only limited to dual so that's going to be sort of that's not necessarily the vision of, of mastery part of it vision mastery part of it is a whole another thing and it's sort of at the end and it's only like a little slight boost in stats but that's gonna help that's gonna help give you the edge basically especially as you get more and more hollow vcs that's gonna give you the edge all right so we have to remember that it's a 1000 pity on this so we'll have to see so that's already two poles and i have to just double check that i'm getting medals on these poles i'm pretty sure i am let me do that before i do this last step and at least this last step gives shards so it's not the worst thing um okay the medals are here medals on each step okay just wanted to make sure so that's three steps already just keeping track of that. Okay, we got shards. So I'm feeling like this won't be any rainbow. So let me go ahead and skip this. All right, so that's three so far. And honestly, if I can just pull the card at all, that would be great. I think the card is full rate. Because I was looking on the, the Mind Sphere banner, it looked like they were better odds than like the Dark Esper. So let me go ahead and double check that. And yeah, so it's 0.8. It's the full rate. So I don't mind going on this. I think there's a decent chance of pulling it before Pity. And this is pull number four. And of course it's a brown book and of course it's all blue with no vision card at the top so that's a skip okay so this will be pull number five okay gold book is a good sign card is a good sign I'm still looking for a bunch of cards. I'm looking for the Elia card, a lot of the Dark Espers, Dark Ifrit, probably the main one. So that's a yellow crystal. And is this the card? That's regular Shiva. I thought that was Dark Shiva for a second. I do have the Dark Shiva card. but I haven't fully built it yet. And I already lost track of what pull this was. I think this is pull number six. So there's a chance at the top. I wasn't expecting that yellow one to change in, into anything. So that's why I don't, I don't even know if I clicked it or if it just clicked itself. All right, let's see if this changes to rainbow. Okay. Yes! Man, I have so much viz left over. This is great. So now, oh my god. Thank God. Thank RNG Jesus. Thank whatever. <sighs> so it looks like I may have enough for Christmas. So now I'm kind of <laughs> mentally deciding if I should save some of this for Christmas slash winter. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, so let me do my free pull for Zidane. By free, I mean I already paid for it. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I'm like so relieved. Part of me is like nervous, but part of me is like relieved. I don't know what's going on. So I kind of just want to evaluate how much it's going to take to build that first hollow VC. Dude, that was so lucky. That was like step six. Well, step six is still pretty high expenditure of Vizier, but way better than having to hit Pity for sure. Okay, so nothing for Zidane. I might have said Zidane. I'm just going to say whatever, guys. At this point, I think we're translating between three different languages, so 
I'm not really gonna get mad at anyone for mispronouncing it. I honestly don't really care that much. Okay. Alright, so no Zidane. Okay, so I'm gonna at least... I'm kinda just nervous. I don't know if I wanna go all the way for the other card yet. Part of me just wants to think this over. But I think I'm at least gonna do... Let's see. If they have a three-step banner for this. Just like the VV one. I'll try to do that. They do have this paid one too. Which I'm kind of willing to do because you end up with that free step. Alright. I think I'm going to go for this one. <sighs> okay, nothing so far. That's a unit, so let's go ahead and skip. We got a shitzolt out of that. Okay. So now, let's keep going. Couple more on this. It's another unit. That's gonna be a Skipper Rooney. Okay, Nasha. Got a couple of other MRs there, but Nasha, the main one. Okay, last thing I'm going for. And I might still go for this card. I just really just need to evaluate how much it takes to build the other card. And then work for there. From there, we do get a rainbow. Oh my god, if this is it. Well, first of all, if this is it, I'm going to have to be paying for a lot for shards anyway so I do get some kind of savings but I'm gonna have to end now I'm forced to build a card if I do pull it because I think hollow cards the non-limited pool is gonna be okay but these limited ones are just gonna be super costly so let's see what we have here okay master Cor coral However you pronounce that, I did need that, so I will definitely take that. Alright. So I think that's it for me in terms of pulling for right now. Like I said, just need to figure out what I want to do. Just because there's, there's new math involved. I think that's kind of the the issue for me. I'm just having trouble like thinking is 32,000 going to be enough to finish the VV card and then finish the other card if I do pull it. I don't know. So let me end there and hopefully that was a good enough video for you guys. Got super lucky on that one. I feel like my luck is still like super on the positive side because I did pull the Glacella. Even though I went to pity for Squall, I did pull the Glacella, so I think I'm still on the plus on that. Like, I don't think that balances out at all. I think I'm still on the plus on that is what I mean. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.